Ted Cruz. You might know him as the silver medalist in this election's hate Olympics. Oh, he's mad about that silver. Mostly because he's allergic to it. Also garlic and sunlight. But he's the guy establishment Republicans want as their white knight in shining armor to save them from an actual white knight with a spray tan. And now, in an attempt to woo Trump voters, Cruz is using the Brussels attacks to execute his most desperate play yet, a Hail Mary, if you will. He said, quote, we need to empower law enforcement to patrol and secure Muslim neighborhoods before they become radicalized. There's an original idea, surveilling Muslims, also known as the free center tile on Republican talking points bingo. But Cruz doesn't have the best track record when it comes to originality. If Donald wants to get in a character fight, He's better off sticking with me, because Heidi is way out of his league. Do you want a character to debate Bob? You better stick with me, because Sidney Ellen Wade is way out of your league. He's got that on VHS. With an idea this bold, surely he's put a lot of thought into this plan. How many Muslims are in America? I, I don't know the number off the top of my head. 3.3 million. But who's counting? Come on, ask him something more specific. Name one community, one city, where we have a, a uh, you, large group of radicalized Muslims. You, you have communities. You have communities, for example, in Minnesota. You have communities in Michigan. Huh. Minnesota and Michigan. Now, some might say those are more states than cities, to which I'd say you say potato, I say Idaho. Let's call the whole thing vague. The point is, he wants to start patrolling and securing what he calls Muslim neighborhoods. And even if he can't explain it, based on his love of Michael Douglas films, it would probably look something like this. Why are you running if you have nothing to hide? It seems the only thing that Cruz blames more than American Muslims for violence is political correctness. People are fed up with the political correctness. Political correctness of this administration. Politically correct game. Political correctness costs lives. Yes, because if I can't say the N-word in public, I will die. Blaming political correctness for the attacks in Brussels is kind of far-fetched. But then again, so is electing a man who eats ice cream like this. I need the glucose for my hatchlings. Let me just take a moment to talk political correctness and Islam. Because you gotta wonder, was it politically correct to invade two predominantly Muslim countries, or train random rebels in a third, or strike a fourth with drones, or send weapons to a fifth to suppress a sixth, all while sanctioning a seventh, and casting Christian Bale to play Moses? His name is literally Christian. Given all that, it seems like not that tall of an order to not trail Muslims everywhere they go. In the end of the day, Cruz's plan to secure and patrol sounds straight out of an era way before our time. An era of suspicion, when everything was black and white. That's such a weird way to end a video. It's like there's a noir detective sketch coming up in which I actually cruise for Muslims. Oh yeah, there is. Check it out. <laughs>